What is going on guys? Cowboy here and we are back. So we did a little bit of leveling up. Uh, basically pumped one point into Dex so I could use that badass sword I picked up if I want to. And then started putting some points into Endurance. Uh, also had a chance to catch up with Brandon who's also been playing. And it turns out his homeward bones work so my homeward bones are just bugged. Which sucks but whatever. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these Lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig. Then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep. And they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Huh. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads. If you've the stones for it. <laughs> and that's the, that's the place with the flying monkeys, I think. You haven't given up yet. You can make better use of this. I don't need it. Not now. Hmm. I'll take that. The undead legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, Snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> this dude has a lot of insider info. Gaining admission, Eve I. <laughs> hmm. So. Who are you? Mm. Who are you? Kindled, are we? And fast on the trail of the Lords absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. Uh, thanks. And briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Pillage embers for what else are up? <laughs> Just. Basically, like, hey, man, um, invading's good. Go do some invasions. All right, let's talk to this dude. Fret not, fret not, for I. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me. A twisted soul. Oh, I got them. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition? Hollow Great Sword. Hollow Slayer Great Sword from the soul of Rotted Greatwood. A lifetime by a mass knight harbors the fear, fears that lurk within the minds of hollows and is particularly effective against them. Bestowed to a proper mirror knight long ago, two hand to execute special sword techniques. So it has like long sword techniques, but two handed. Demon's Great Axe. Just soul of a demon. 
This great axe, a favorite among demons, contains the strength of fire. The demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed, such that they were never meant to be. Demonic flare briefly caused flame within to flare and smash it upon earth. That sounds badass. For its great hammer, um, frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Perseverance, anchor weapon, and earth to temporarily boost poise. Damage reduced while activated. Arster's Spear. One of the curses that fester within the belly of the Great Wood, a terrible weapon favored by Earl Arster the Impaler. The spear is enwreathed in rotten, heavily poisonous meat. Defeating po foes restores HP. Shield Splitter, take a large step forward and make a single focus thrust to puncture shields and inflict damage. That could be pretty badass. For a dex build, I feel like that would be crazy good. Soul of a Demon, Demon's Fist. Demonic fist that burns with fiery essence. Its wielder can release a power through the use of its skill. When two-handed fists are equipped to each hand, Flame Whirlwind, spin through opponents with abandon. Flaming fists outstretched. Using a strong attack while spinning utilizes your momentum to slam the ground with both fists. That's awesome. This bewitched ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights recovers HP with successful attacks. Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched in forward lands. Um, well that's 30. I probably won't be using that. I think this ring could be pretty awesome. Yeah, let's do that. Now. Recover HP with each successful attack. So are we talking like Ring of the Evil Eye recovery or are we talking like Bloodborne levels of recovery? Boost that. Increase damage absorption. That'd be good. Uh, we'll replace you with this. Oh, that'll put me over though. 70.4. Yep. I would need one point. Or go back and something that weighs less. Northern armor looks good. <clears throat> we can rock that. Now there were a couple other people here as well. Um, all those other people who wanted to come and do service. Alright, here's one. Oh, our champion of ash. Welcome home, this pilgrim, with a debt in death, and I never would have. I thank you dearly for this. Draw out and true strength. Bearer of the dark sign. Wait. Are you just... What are you... What? What? I'm not spending souls to level up. Choose attribute to level up. How, how am I leveling up through you? What is this? Spend up. Level up without spending souls. Only one level. Okay. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. And you do have sorcery. Soul arrow, heavy soul, soul greatsword, magic weapon, magic shield. As I have said, alas, the magic of Londor is... But I can, perhaps. I believe that I can... We pilgrims that those branded... Back in. As I have said, alas, but I weep that those... Be safe. Free level sounds nice to me. Um, so if he's over here... Oh, hello. This dude... And in one piece. Well... Now it's time I do my part. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> Ember, throwing knife, bombs, rope bombs, spear, mace, bastard sword, long sword. Damn, dude has weapons for days. Thief mask. Let me give him Loretta's bone. Well, let me do talk to him first. Give this ring a new sunshine. Heavens. She was already dead. Thank you. Uh, I'm not surprised, though. You can keep the ring as... 
you can as <laughs> goodbye where is the cleric lady yep back here god I had a feeling and I was on point with it champion of ash welcome back I was not meant to be a firekeeper the gods are ever merciful my gratitude I am yours now allows attunement of additional spells miracles do you have heal replenishment caressing tears Homeward. You know, in my home of Ka I would be pleased to share the tale, though, to be honest. But if I had a divine tome, oh, terribly sorry. You know, in my I would be oh, terribly sorry. So there's items that will enhance them. Also, I was, um, while I was talking with Brandon, apparently, um, the key... I don't know, he said that there was the dude up by the throne. I think it's this guy. I think the next time I talk to him, he should give me uh, the key I needed to get where I was trying to go. Um, back in... Back in... in, 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 in here, high wall. Um, so... I want to check something real fast here. I want to see if the dancer is now around. Um, mainly because I also want to hop back and see if that dude will give me the key. So I can knock out the last bits of this area. What's up, bros? Stop that. So let's stop that. You too. Did I put that ring on? <clears throat> I did. I gotta keep a close eye on my health. Seven thirty four. Asshole. 561. Hit him twice. 561. Successive attacks. Maybe it's just multiple attacks in a row I need to hit? So I'm at 561 now. Let me hit a couple times on one dude and see how much I heal. I feel like I didn't heal at all there. What is wrong? Are you not a Lord Seeker? Is this not the... That is odd. God damn, what is this? <laughs> That's gonna bother the shit out of me that I can't use those. Challenge me? Stop that. I like how I can just keep hitting him until he dies, basically. Alright. <laughs> Either way, we did... Um, I mean, we didn't make, like, progression, necessarily, but we left the bonfire. We left the, the central area... 
killed a couple things. We're going to go back, see if that dude that gave me the orbs will now give me the key. I'm not sure if it's the right guy, because we were discussing very briefly, mostly over just DMs, so... Let's find on out. The other thing, <clears throat> which is kind of interesting, looking up here, this is all fogged over now. Which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <clears throat> and additionally, out here is fogged over. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> don't know why everything's covered with fog. But it is. Well, has it? I'm Leonard, the ring finger. Remember me? I see you're making quite an effort of it, so if you yearn for a proper red eye, or then kill the dark wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. Yes, the lift chamber key. <laughs> there it is. All right, so we're going to go jump into that. We're going to take that lift. And right there, that is confirmation that there is a red eye orb, which is sweet. That means FromSoft didn't worry. They they did not forget about us. They said people love the PvP, and we shall give them PvP. Okay, dude. That's it. Would you? What the fuck is this guy's problem? Oh, fuck you. I'm gonna go. I'm, go, I'm going to the goddamn bonfire. I don't know why that dude is on me so hard. There's no reason for all that. You can eat a big fiery dick in the face. Asshole, man. Alright, we're just gonna run past. I'm not dealing with, with his shit. There it is. Alright. This is going down. Wait a minute. No, if this goes down... Damn it! I thought, I thought there was a dual one here. So if this just goes down... Uh, is this the Dark Wraith? Yeah. Sup, buddy? The fuck is that? You strike fast. Got him! Red Eye Orb! Yes! Invasions. Lots of invasions. Oh, so good. Though this still does not answer my issue of the dragon. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it may have been the case that I actually have to... Um, I actually just have to run past the dragon once to unlock that door. I think that might have been the case. And I just don't remember doing that because it's so suicidal that I didn't think that could actually be what you had to do. But I think that is what you have to do. And we're going to go and do it real fast here. We're going to heal up. We're going to get all of our Estus. Kill some shit that's in the way. And we're making our run. Stop it. 
Actually, we're going to travel to a different bonfire. We'll go to this one, just because it'll be easier to approach the dragon from that way. Dark Wraith, though. Mmm. Mmm, that orb. Mmm, so good. <laughs> so good. And I gotta say, I'm really liking how this character's coming together. Thank you. He's doing a, uh, very good job of crapping on everything. Really, Dick? Get out of my damn way. I'm trying to get some items. Okay, um... Fire... Oh, wait. Fire 69. For the skill of the right-handed weapon? Wait, what? Oh, that's badass. I like that. I can't parry, but I can use it to block and then switch and perform my skills. I feel like I'm, I'm obligated to, to get through this to show you guys what the items are at this point. Broken straight sword. And the claymore! So, real fast, for those curious about that stuff, since we um, utterly skipped it previously. Uh, Claymore, let's see. 1613, DD, probably gets much higher than that. Has stance for break and upward lunge. Yeah, come on. You're not that sneaky. Whoa. This mimic is a hell of a lot more agile than previous mimics. Oh, and he can still chomp your face. It's not an instant kill like it used to be, but it was damn close. No! You son of a bitch! Fucking mimics! Oh my god! I figured out it was a mimic and it still killed me! Man, this is, see, now it's personal. Now, now I have to go kill this mimic. used to be a knight down there. I guess they replaced him in favor of the mimic that, uh, even though I am way level for the starter area, mimic is still able to just crap all over me. 
That, that's super cute, you know. All right, buddy. You are not just going to fall on top of me and have me as a snack again. God, why are you so fast? Dude, fighting speedy mimics is very, very uncomforting. God. Like, I couldn't imagine trying to kill that thing before. Deep battle axe? What the hell's a deep battle axe? Deep. What does, what does deep mean? It has some kind of enchantment on it. Maybe deep? For a second I thought maybe Deep represented the new Dark, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Was that it down here? Just the Mimic? I think it was. Alright, so... Took uh, a lot longer than I care to admit to remember that we could get past that by simply just running to it from that direction. Could have sworn we came up for some reason. I don't know. Either way, uh, we did manage to circle around and get the loot there. And probably a good thing we waited until now because I'm fairly confident that that Mimic would have probably shit all over me. Get the fuck out of here. And more importantly, we got the Dark Wraith, which was totally badass. So moving forward from here, um, obviously based on uh, what we heard from our buddy back at Firelink, we have to head on down to where the flying monkeys were. So, I mean, that area looked... I mean, I, I, I managed to hit the monkeys pretty hard. Um, so I think I'll be able to get through fine. It was just a little discerning seeing that freakish creature flying at me. So either way, make sure to come on back and we will see you guys then as we continue on with the adventures.